my headphones were set to max for whatever reason. <sighs> Hello, everybody. My name is GameCube Dude, and welcome to Deltarune Chapter 2. Deltarune. Was that Jevil's voice? Huh. So in preparation for this game, I actually uh, went back and played the first game once again. It had been three years since I played the game on my computer originally. I'm using the itch.io version of this game. Somewhere along the line, my first save file actually got erased. So I played chapter one again. I made sure to get uh, the Jevil's Tail item, you know, when you uh, put Jevil to sleep. I wanted to make sure I get it as close to my original save file as possible, just on the off chance that it has some kind of effect on chapter two. Of course, the whole theme of Deltarune Chapter 2 was that your choices don't matter. So whether that was a huge waste of time or whether that's actually going to have some kind of effect on the story of Chapter 2, I guess I'll find out. Let's do this. All right, so this is the only save file. Chris. Chris, honey, are you awake? W wait. Is that a... A knife? No! Is it the Chris from... Chris, did you eat all the pie? <laughs> it is your knife in this empty tin, is it not? I plead the fifth. Oh, Chris. Am I going to have to lock the oven again? <laughs> well, hurry out to bed. It's time for school. What the hell? Why do you look normal? And why is the soul not in the bird cage? It's a bird cage. When the doors close, there's no escape. Was that door open in the final cutscene? I'm not going to remember such a slight detail like that. Could the soul have slipped out of the cage? Or was it open? Was it open and did the soul make its way back to Chris? Hmm. All right, well. Wherever the answer to that mystery is, is going to lie further in the game. Even after a long night, the sunrise is the same as always. After a long night. Hmm. Closed drawer. Computer. On the computer's desktop is a folder called Epic Game Stuff. It's a poorly drawn design for a game. Seems the last boss is a creature with giant rainbow wings. Hmm. Doesn't seem like the game ever saw the light of day. What a shame. Underneath the bed is an old cartridge of... Cat Petters RPG. Caddy and Caddy can be seen faintly written on it in worn gel pen. Oh, is that one of the games they borrow but never happen to return from their neighbors? Yeah, we've all been there, I'm sure. There's five dollars in your brother's drawer. Take it. <laughs> he doesn't need it. You reluctantly borrowed five dollars. How to, draw, how to draw dragons is at the bottom of the drawer. The purple character on the cover is dressed immodestly. Your brother will never return this book. Huh. I am not going to think about that too much. It's what they call you. It's what they call you? Hmm, the phrasing of that's a little weird. A cactus. There's not much to say about it. Okay. What about mom's room? The door is locked. Yeah, smart idea. If you're ever going to have kids, keep them out of your room. There's no time to read books, just generally. Hmm. I wonder... This place looks the same. 
On the shower ledge, there's a small container of apple-scented shampoo and a gallon-sized container of sh pet shampoo. What happens if I flush the toilet again and again this time? Last time, uh, Toriel just knocked on the door saying, Hey, yo, everything good in there? You're not dying on me, are you? Alright, I think that was probably more than ten times. If, if, mom, if mom heard that, she'd probably be calling an ambulance by now. It is not yet time to wash your hands. Okay. I guess I'm skipping breakfast. There's a photo on the fridge. It's of you, your mother, and your brother. Some white fur stuck in the drain. Yeah, this all uh, seems pretty much the same as last time. Cookie cutter for gingerbread monsters and gingerbread humans. Uh, cinnamon batter cake on the stop stove top. Its floral scent has increased. Damn. Asgore, you need to just... You need to let it go, bro. It is a landline phone, but you already have a cell phone. Oh, you know what? I remember, uh... There was... If you call the phone of your house while in a different room... <laughs> Hello, Dreamer Residence. Who might this be? Chris? Don't make me come over there. Same as chapter one. Okay. I guess I didn't change much in this regard. Uh, it's uh, Cheriel, the beloved living room chair. I remember the TV is not even plugged in, apparently. Looks like it's plugged in, but it's dusty. Huh. Okay, so now it is plugged in. Neat. Well, shall we go? All right. Susie's in class. Hey! Chris, there you are. Even Susie showed up before you. <laughs> Hooray! Now now Susie's like ch oh. Hey, Chris. If I knew you were going to be late, I would have showed up on time. <laughs> I wouldn't have showed up on time. Susie, please don't kick your desk. Treat school property like you treat people. Okay. Next time I'll aim for the vitals. <laughs> we're, we're, we're doing this one step at a time. Susie will be a productive member of society soon enough. Help. That's not what I... In any case, good morning, class. We have a lot to go over today. First, we're starting the readings from page 124. Any... any volunteers? <laughs> um, I guess I could read the... Uh... Ugh, <laughs> this... this freaking guy. Ah, trouble yourself not, Newell. Uh... I will valiantly take this blow of humiliation. Um, that's okay. I can... Ahem. Page 124. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. Times are pretty good. Times are pretty bad. Mediocre times. Iffy times. So-so times. Listening to this, your eyes begin to close automatically. <laughs> he slept through the entire class. Have a nice day, everyone. And please remember your group projects. Oh, um, Chris, are you okay? You were, uh, sleeping all class. You knew when you didn't wake him up? Don't worry, I'm not mad, just concerned. Such a pushover. My god, if I had a teacher that was this big of a pushover. Woo! Usually you can only sleep through the start. Good luck and rest well tonight, okay? Alright. The computer wallpaper is updated. The buff uh, embracing heroes are now edited to be four inches apart. There's a dialogue about proper distance at the school, at the school dance. 
Proper distance at the school dance? What? You wonder if your mother had some influence on this change. Hmm. Chris, this whole partner thing. You didn't lose sleep over it, did you? Hmm. Losing sleep from being Susie's partner. Actually, my sleep quality increased. Be mean to Alphys or not be mean to Alphys. Hmm. Well, let me tell you all something right now. You either grow a spine or people walk all over you. Let's be mean to Alphys. You say with no negative annotation at all. Chris, as your teacher, there's a, a limit to the advice I'm qualified for. But if you're interested, I do have a recommendation. There's an FPS game podcast that helps me sleep. No? Okay. Well, that didn't really seem to do much. I guess Deltrune's keeping in with the theme that your choices don't matter. It's a bunch of roses. What are these? Looks like motivational quotes from various literature. Try your best, Astro Wolf, even in your darkest hour. That one seems to be from a video game. <laughs> All right, let's head, uh, Susie! What's up? Well, look who it is, the school zombie. You were sleeping like a corpse all class. I should know what a, <laughs> what a sleeping corpse looks like. Ah, shoot, I accidentally clicked the button. Uh, hopefully it wasn't that important. Had trouble getting Betty by last night. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I thought she was going to attack me for whatever reason. Me too, Chris. Like, like I could sleep yesterday. Just waiting for today felt like years. Did all that stuff really happen? Lancer, Ralsei, everyone, are they still... Look, you've been wondering the same thing, right? Come on already! So we're going back to the dark world? I guess we are. If it's still there, that is. All right, Chris. This is the mo this is it, the moment of truth. Everything we've been waiting for is just behind this. If we uh open this and there's nothing inside, will uh we still be friends? Bro. You you don't lose friendship just because your magical fairy tale land just happened to disappear. I know we're homies. Screw it, let's just open it already. Noelle! Um, S Susie? Yeah? No, I wasn't trying to break in, I swear! Noelle, hey! What the hell are you doing here? Um, sorry to bother you, but, um, uh, I... Well, I just... Birdly and I were going to the library to do some research for our group projects, and... If it's okay, um... Would you want to come too? Oh, Chris, you can come too, I mean. Uh, I mean, we're like, uh, busy with, uh, Chris, help me out here. What do we say? Uh, hanging out alone in the closet. Cry. These are both not good decisions. Uh, cry. I uh, well, then again, in Deltarune, your choices don't matter. So let's go with the crazy one. You know, just committing crimes. Just gonna do some crimes and go to jail forever. It sucks. Oh. Uh, well, uh, that sounds, um, just... Have fun, you two. I'll, um, be at the library. Chris, if you could bring her by later, it would mean a lot to me. Um, actually, wait. Wait a second. Susie, I, um, I... I have something for you. 
Huh? Oh. Okay, see you, bye! Huh. Well, it's a lunchbox. <laughs> Full of chalk? She had chalk the whole time? And didn't give it to Alphys? What the hell, Chris? Here, you hold on to this. You got the chalk. Don't tell me that chalk's gonna be a damned healing item. Wait, Chris, what the hell was that? Why would Noelle ask me to do homework with her? Death wish much? Does she want to fail? Wait a second. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. Chris, did you notice how nervous she was? Yeah. And like, blushing and stuff? Yeah. Come on, Susie, realize it already. I can't twist my neck much farther than this. Chris, you don't think she, uh... She's onto our secret identities? I'm gonna take a, a pretty educated guess, considering the fact that she has no idea this world exists. At least I don't think she does. And say no. You know, this dark world stuff. Damn, we gotta keep this under wraps, Chris. This is our thing, you know? Anyway, enough waiting around already, right? Let's go! Uh, well, I'm sure Susie will figure it out event. Oh, the dark word, it, is it still there? Oh, it's still there. Whoa. Oh, all right, we're going right in. Um, the game just crashed. Uh, okay, error in action one, step event zero. Okay, um, clear, abort, well that's not good, I'm gonna see if I can get that back up and running, huh, well that's very concerning, hmm. maybe if I made it just a little bit further I could have made a save file or something? Oh, now's my chance to see what she said this time. Viz the school zombie, you were sleeping like a corpse all class. What's the matter? Oh, wow, she literally just said, what's the matter? Hmm, now I can see how she said, how she reacts to hanging out in the closet alone. You know, just chilling out alone in the closet. Just two friends, chilling out in the closet, like normal. Touching rooms and stuff oh um well uh that sounds just uh, fun you two it's, it's nothing different wait a moment i think i think for maybe a frame i saw red in chris's eye Maybe? I, d I don't know. All right, let's see. Please don't crash this time. Uh, it crashed again. If I'm understanding this error correctly, I think it's crashing when I try to enter the next room. Okay, so I re-downloaded the game off itch.io, so if it crashes this time, I guess I'll try the Steam version. Another theory I have is maybe the save file is bad because the, the version of Deltarune I played, I still have on my computer, and the version that this game is currently reading is the very, very first launch of Deltarune. Maybe it had some kind of bug I don't know about, 
I don't know. But that's another thing I can try is uh, just something like this. Just not clicking this file. But let's keep trying our options. All right. And it crashed again. Okay, so this time I guess I'm just not going to use my save file. Don't use chapter one file. If this, uh, if this doesn't work, then I guess I'll just use the Steam version. That is really disappointing because I spent a huge amount of time replaying Deltarune, uh, the first chapter, and it seems like that may have just been for nothing. So that is quite irritating, I'll say. Oh, it's cont okay. So it was my save file that was causing the errors. Well, then I really did play Deltarune again today for nothing. <sighs> oh well. Hey, Chris, uh, you really gonna walk everywhere so slowly? I know you're kind of taking it in, but can you can run, you know. You remember something about the B button? Indeed. Ah, Ralph says home, uh, was this a town or a city? In the same difference. Here we are. There he is, uh, Ralse! Chris! Susie! Uh, it's been ever so long. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's been, what, a day? Uh, 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 oh, that's it. Short, isn't it? Uh, it's just that I've never had friends before. So I've never waited so long to see them ever, uh, so I've never waited so long to see them again either. Fine. Guess we'll try not to let you die of loneliness. I bet Lancer wants to see us too, right? Hey, wait a sec. Where is Lancer? On the other side of the kingdom. Remember? It took you like three hours to get there last time. Where's everybody? Uh, on camera, is it this way or is it that way? I think on camera, it's that way. Uh, uh, Worry not, Susie. You'll see them in a moment. Uh, Just wait here, all right? Okay. Hey, this better not be some kind of prank or something. Chris, I have something to ask you. I need you to return to the light world and go to the old classroom to the east of the closet doors. Inside, gather everything on the ground and bring them back he here, could you? Um, very well. So, Ralse, you're not going to put your hat back on? Why? Did I look cuter before? Uh, no, I just mean... You, you think I look cuter now? <laughs> it was just nicer seeing less of you. You're making me blush. <laughs> what? Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, so I guess I gotta go back down. He hath ascended. <laughs> Wow. All right. Oh. You gathered all the junk off the floor. And turned it into a giant dusty ball. <laughs> He's carrying it on his head. All right. So the objects within the closet have a direct effect on what manifests in this world. Interesting. That was theorized, and... Yeah, seems to be legit now. Hey, Chris, so where is every... One? Guess who's back, clowns? Lancer! 
<laughs> hey, Chris, don't know what you did, but hell yeah! Everyone's here! But, uh, what happened to, uh, Lancer's castle? All gone! Gone? Right. When Chris sealed the fountain, that dark world disappeared. Hmm. And turned back into a normal classroom. So where's Lancer gonna live now? Don't worry, Susie! We'll conquer Rousey's castle as our own! <laughs> Chris, as you bring Dark World denizens back here, the power of our the power of the fountain, of our fountain, will transform this town more and more. From now on, the enemies we spare will be recruited to our town. So let's keep sparing enemies, okay? Anyhow, why don't we all have a look around? We can head north towards the castle. I have a special surprise to show you there. <laughs> Not if I surprise myself first. Last one there is a fresh and fragrant egg. Come on, Chris. You gonna let him beat us? Hmm. Well, I can't not talk to the people. Oh, welcome to GameCube Dude Town. Or so I heard it's called. Huh. All right. Ah, thus has transplanted us to thine castle town. And truly a magnificent town of castles it art. But ho, oh, hmm, something art lacking it feeleth. Couldst thou guys perhaps bring an evil ruler or thing or something? Oh, Top Hat's Bakery. Or, er, uh, Top Sh What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> what? Ho oh, ho, I am Chef Lancer. Try my delicious hand-formed cookies. They are free for a price. What's the price? Zero dollars. Take cookie. I pronounce you cookie and wife. Okay. Lancer cookie was added to your items. If I remember correctly, Chris gets the most health out of a Lancer cookie. Well, well, welcome to Top Bakery. I am this bakery smith, Malleus. I do not know what any of these strange tools are for, but using my skills, I can fuse items to create new ones. Ah, okay. I remember, I think Fix Us just heals you up, so let's chat. Bread? What is this technique you speak of? <laughs> I don't think I have any items to fuse right now, so we'll give that some time. The rabbit guy. It's a clean start for us here. Sukiri. Uh, Sukiri, I think? I'm not sure. You're Hathi, right? Seems like Hathi likes this place. She hopes you'll like it too. Well, I gotta check out the party dojo. Huh. Help. Hey, boss! Boss! Heh. <laughs> I'm so glad to have a nice boss. I could shed a tear. But I won't. I'm on the job. I'll cry at home with the kids. Boss, you're strong. But there's always time to learn. The next step after tutorials is training. So me and the boys got you together at Dojo. Complete our battle challenges and get some fabulous prizes. Meanwhile, you might get a little bit tougher. We're gonna make you the strongest, boss. I guess it wouldn't be, uh... What? Joe's life savings. Wait. Jake saw Joe. Learn how to spar like a champ. Joe's life savings. Grand challenge one. Get 100% TP without getting hit. You can do it, boss. Clover rematch. It's not Clover's birthday anymore. She won't go easy on you now. Oh, okay. <laughs> hmm. Oh, Joe. I hope you weren't saving for college or anything. Boss! You can act and spare on the same turn. If you know Chris's act will give a will give an enemy 100% mercy, spare them on the same turn with Susie or Rousey. 
So are these, uh, I guess it's all the same mechanics. Shave? Uh, I guess I'll defend with Susie this time. Just in case, uh, well, Joe doesn't uh, actually work this time. You shaved Jigsaw Joe's stubble. Nice. Looking clean. I'll say spare Joe. Oh, boss, you're sparing me? Wait a second. I got something else to remind you of. Boss. The worst is same with making an enemy tired. But act will make an enemy tired. Use Ralsei's pacify right away. Yeah, I remember this. Uh, sleepy story. Uh, then... Oh, wait. Uh, you can just... Right. Susie told the enemy a bedtime story about beating them up. The enemy became tired. You can manage to spare enemy... You did it, boss! If you can manage to spare enemies right away, battles will go a lot faster, that's all. An amazing battle! As promised, here's your reward. You received Joe's life savings, one dollar. Awesome! All right, now I want to do the other challenges so I can get the other things. I could use, uh, let's see, without getting hit, I gotta get TP. Okay, I can, I can do that. Graze. Oh. Oh, so this... It doesn't end, does it? Oh, it gets faster. Oh, is, oh this might get hard. Oh, okay. Gotta be careful. Oh, I cornered myself. Ah, shoot. Okay, you know what? Let me try that again. I didn't move that. Oh, God. I was so close! All right, there we go. Amazing battle. As promised, here's your reward. $100. Nice. All right, now for that club sandwich. Clover's rematch. All right. Choose a topic that Clover likes. Uh, they like sports. I remember that. All right. Nothing I haven't done before. Nothing I can't do again. One more. Uh, rules? Oh, okay. They like rules. Dang, I almost had my TP up to 100. Actually, I'll have Rousey spare. All right. Did that get me any... Oh, guess that doesn't get me any extra money. But I did get the club sandwich, so that's good. wonder what the others have to say. Looks like fighting wasn't in the cards for us. Lucky for you, just hope you don't meet my friends. Finally, a dojo for people that are normally normal shaped. I will train myself for the tournament. Uh, what's this help? I'm a battles master. Ask me about battles. Right, these guys just give you bad information and Ralsei collects corrects them. Uh hitbox? Shots aren't always as they appear. The bigger they are, the less to fear. You only get hurt a little inside. Take your pride and learn the size. Ralsei's not correcting him, is this actually good advice? Uh when the shots aim directly, try to move slow. I knew that. They aim where they aim where you were, not where you go. Take the advantage and move bit by bit. Yeah, I, I knew that. Okay, what else? Uh, hole. 
We failed to hit our funding goal. Oh, right, the hole in, like, their yard. I will not talk about our hole. Okay. There's, I think, Clover's bed. Yep. Bed for three-headed person. Okay. That happened. Shop. Oh, this guy! Hmm. So, we are now in the castle town. Well, no, it makes no difference to me. As long as I stay in my shop, these walls won't change. But, in a way, I suppose it's just a little bit amusing to see you again. I'm sure you three will have an interesting journey. Me? I'm just... I'll just be here offering the same old junk. As you find stronger treasure, I'm sure you'll have little reason to return here. But if you have some time, I'll offer you a biscuit and a hint. Dang. You know, this guy had unique dialogue when you beat Jevil. And I beat Jevil in my previous save files, so would he have talked about Jevil more? <sighs> great. Just great. Well, I still at least have dark burgers and whatnot. I'll buy a dark burger. 34? I have 34 space for inventory? Well, all right then. I'll start off with one dark burger. You know, just good to have one item, you know? Well, then again, I do have the Lancer cookie as well. Cafe. Uh, Top Chef has a cafe now. Mamma mia! I wanted to run the bakery, but someone is already working there. The a cafe serves pastries. What a disgrace. What sort of humiliating thing will happen next? Uh, check recruits, prizes, nothing. Check recruits. Huh, okay. So this is like, uh, all the enemies. Uh, said to be someone's best friend. Maybe not. Shine on, you lazy diamond. Likes shiny things. Dislikes effort. Okay. So this is like a description of all the, uh, all the, uh, NPCs. Well, the enemies, quote-unquote. The townspeople, I guess. Hmm. Okay. So, I guess I get more of them down the line? Or else I did mention bringing people into the town. The jukebox is broken. Feels like you might never find a working one. That's a shame. Is this a map? No. What's this? No, nothing. All right, then. All right, well, then let's just go on ahead. Ah. What were those other options? Uh, save, return, storage? Oh, must be like, uh, for... Ah, uh, okay. So this is pretty good, uh, probably gonna be a long chapter. It's a manual. Read the top, read a topic? Um... No, I think I'm good. Alright, so what's up? Hey, it's the ball! It's a bit scary moving to a new place, but as a ball, there's nothing to sphere except sphere itself. <sighs> hey, that's Rose's hat! Prince Rose, I will keep your hat erect until you need it. Cool. Alright, so... Just wanted to show off your huge house, huh? No, what I want to show you is upstairs. Okay, so, up here. I have a surprise for you two. I made rooms for you in the castle. Rooms? So you can stay here whenever you want. Um, I'd be happy if this place could be like a second home to you. A place that you can go. No matter what's happening outside. Huh. <coughs> Well, let's take a look. All right. Or else they made rooms for us. Oh. So this is a lot like Chris's room back in uh, back in the real world. Only now he has trophies. It's your bed. It feels incredibly soft, like sleeping on a dream. <laughs> Funny that you mention it that way. It's a stand for your manual. I thought you might want to keep it here in case you want to read it. It's a shelf. All sorts of keepsakes could be put here. 
It's a wardrobe full of all sorts of different clothes. You can wear whatever you want. <laughs> Just like a fantasy world. Almost. All right, so... <laughs> Lancer's got a doormat that says cool. All right, what's Susie's room like? And Susie, this is your room. Um, I tried to make it something you'd like, but... You can put anything else you want in here, too. I really hope you like it. <laughs> My own room. Huh? I guess that's pretty cool. Why'd you say it like that? My own room. Like this. How long did it, uh, take you to do this? Well, uh, since I last saw you two, I... <laughs> Man, you're a real weenie, you know that? <laughs> I think she likes it, Chris. <laughs> Jealous I got the cool room? Look, Chris! Hmm. Cool, spiked bed. <laughs> Now I can stab myself during the night. <laughs> Finally, some convenience. What the hell? Damn, there's everything in here. Pine cones, chalk, moss, jars of salsa, pieces of ice, black crumbs from the toaster, jawbreakers. Oh, and like actual food too. Wow. Susie, you didn't get to read the manual, so I put it over here for you. Cool. I'll read it before bed. That'll put me to sleep. Ow! <laughs> it's a cl it's a closed drawer full of spiky and dangerous clothing. All the clothes are ripping into each, <laughs> each other up into shreds. Hell yeah! Jealous Chris! Oh my god. Alright, well here's Lancer's room. Hmm? How odd. Right, he likes cartoon splat noises for God knows whatever reason. And there's salsa buried in the ground here. It's a hole made recreationally. You found 20 rupees inside the hole. Unfortunately, that's not a useful currency here. Wow, it's better than I remember. I even have my own bed now. Now I don't have to sleep in a hole anymore. I thought you already had a bed. No, that was for the bike. Wow. It's a hole. Presumably dug for fun. Lancer, you aren't going to believe how sick my room is. A room as sick as yours? Whoa, I want to see. I'll keep digging holes until I reach your room. Uh, it's got a door, you know. A door? Wow. Peach Boy, you went all out. Peach Boy? Is that what Ralse is to Lancer? I love my floor is full of holes. Okay, good for you. <laughs> Dear God. Hey, Ralsei, what's up here? Oh, just more rooms I'm renovating. So your room is up there? Uh, yes, I still um, haven't dusted it though. Yeah, like we need to see your nerdy glasses collection anyway. Sheesh. There's no filter on this lady. Respect. So, what do we do now? Feel free to explore the town until you're ready to leave. Ha! <laughs> like we're gonna leave now, right, Chris? Well, we do need to go do our project. So, what's up with this giant water thing? Oh, I nearly forgot! This is where I cook! You cook everything in a giant witch pot? Of course! Cauldron cooking is very convenient. Here, Chris. Susie, have a cake. <laughs> hmm. A little thick on the frosting. Uh, that was for sharing. <laughs> hey, anyone anyone was free to make an it uh <laughs> interception. <laughs> Can I get anything more out of here? How about strawberry cake as a room warming gift? There's a slice of cake in your fridge, Susie. 
but it's not cauldron fresh. <laughs> so this, uh, the door is locked. Okay. And down here, those guys are still in cages. Oh, dang. It violent, it violently, it's violently protecting the jail. We're still behind bars for some reason, but it's okay. We've grown to love this hellish place where we were dressed as animals. Okay. We desire to dress as kings. It's culture. It's a cultural. <laughs> it's cultural exchange. A giant hamster wheel. Oh. Ah, the lightners. Have you come to humiliate me? Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Eat it, old man! Hey, why the hell does he get a giant thing of water? Jealous, are you? Then gaze in envy, whelps! As I suckle from this giant hamster bottle! <laughs> Feel despair! Uh, never mind. We have nothing to discuss. Very well. Hmm? By the way, is my son happy? Like, you care? Yeah, you, you nearly, you threatened to drop him off a cliff in the last chapter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You were gonna throw him off a cliff! Ah, your prejudice made my bluff too effective, I see. Besides, even if I threw him, he would just bounce. My son is a bouncy little pumpkin. Aw, cute. We're done talking to you. <laughs> Anything else? Nope. Very well. I guess there really isn't much else to do as of now, unless there's something over this way. Ah, there is. What's in there? Something is glimmering in the hole. Look inside. Hell yeah. You reached inside and found something alongside a strange piece of glass. Oh. Jeffel's tail was added to your armors. Oh, it's quite wonderful. It's quite a wonderful town, really. Thank you. So why am I alone here? A bit of self-reflection, I suppose. I do realize I was quite a coward before. So I wanted to say, well, I still am. My cards, I cannot handle so My cards, I cannot handle society. For now, I'll be living in the top of this cliff. When I am ready to meet society again, I will be back. Thank you. Thank you for the wonderful home. I will not use it. Well, okay then. I don't suppose Jevil, uh, Devil's Knife is over here. Was it the Devil's Knife? I don't think that's the Devil's Knife. Oh, so... Right, right. This goes to the rest of the... Uh, the rest of the land. What happens if I try and go over there? The giant door... Seems to be locked. It may never open again. Hmm. Very well then. Wait. Ralsei said that entire area disappeared, right? Was that what he meant? Or did I misunderstand? I like being like this. Don't tell anybody. Hmm. Oh, all right, then. There's the dummy and the caterpillar. Or no, he was a worm. Without trees, I must gain nutrients by eating clothes. Such is the way of the worm. Looks like the clothes are nibbled. Take a bite. Why not? You only live once. You put your mouth against the mannequin's cheek. <laughs> oh dear. Chris? Don't bother. It tastes so <laughs> Don't bother. It tastes awful. And Susie? <laughs> 
What do you gotta say? Mr. Society left, didn't he? Hmm. I reckon I knew this would have happened. It's, it's not no fault of yours. You'll only be back one day. All right. I guess that's all I can do in the town for now, so. Wait, Chris, we're leaving? But we just got here. Man, I don't want to do our group project. Oh, you two have homework? Uh, well... Susie, Chris, you ought to do that right away. School's important. I banish you from this kingdom until you start your group project. Screw you, you're not my mom! Ugh, fine, I'll do it, jeez! Susie, don't worry. I'll go and help you too. Uh, wait, Lancer, perhaps you shouldn't... Too late, kind boy! Friendship form! Lancer was added to your key items. The hell? What? Where'd you go? Don't worry. I just entered your inventory. I'll just be hanging out in Chris's pocket. Don't know what you mean, but okay. Rules. Fear not! I too shall assist th Uh, we're good. Ah, uh, quite. Well, we as a team aren't good! Huh. Rules card... Uh, rules became a key item even though no one wanted that. Ugh. Alright, enough already. Let's get going. Good luck today, Chris. See you soon. Alright. So they're really just... Key. They're just hanging out in there. Uh, thou gazeth upon a man most handsometh. This daringest genius abhorreth beyond all hay. What? Uh, Lancer. <laughs> Damn it. Ho oh, ho ho! I'm a tough boy. Treat me like one of your items. He tried to call himself... That still happens. Nothing but garbage noise. All right, come on, Susie. Let's go do this project. Well, damn. Guess we got to do our project. <sighs> At least we got Lancer, right? Okay, so I'm guessing he's going to turn into a card. Lancer, where are you? Damn, guess he skipped out after all, huh? Hmm. So where should we do this? What? The library? Ugh. Well, all right. It's just a library. You know what? I want to take a quick look. All right. Oh, there's good old Bold and Brash. Managed to cram everything into the closet, even the rug. Wow. Impressive. Let me. I just want to explore the school for a minute. Door is locked. Okay, can't go in there. Uh, I'm guessing this place is the same. Yep. Then again, there was a uh, there were some blocks down here last time I remember. Probably nothing worth looking at in there. I do actually kind of want to. Oh wait, no. I need to go back in. I need to check. Okay, this locker. This locker is covered in Jockington memorabilia. Huh. Alphys is not here. Very well. Well, let's just head to the library for now. Is that music or car horns? Wait a minute. Isn't that the... I could sworn that was the Game Over uh, music from Undertale. Almost. What in God's name are you doing?! Damn! 
I was just decorating traffic as normal, or directing traffic as normal. When a little dog drove into, drove one of the toy cars into the middle of the street and started doing donuts. In the chaos, all the cars in town got jammed up. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but ordinary citizens like you got to get out of here. I've got some heavy lifting to do. How about stop exercising with the cars? And oh my god, Undyne. I heard a dog was doing donuts, so I sped over here. But I just learned donuts is actually the name of a special attack for cars. Why is my life stuck in a loop of doughy disp uh, disappointment? Traffic's moving at a snail's pace. I love snails. Could today get any better? <laughs> All right. I guess that's how they force you into the library. All right. We're here. School. God damn. Project. Books. God damn crazy about them. Hey, Chris. Where the hell is everybody? Something seems kind of off. Screw it! Let's just go play space pinball in the computer lab. What? Another dark world? Uh, huh? It's like... The inside of the closet? Chris, you don't think this could be... Another dark world? Well, guess this means we can't start our project. Unless... You know, Chris, if there's a dark fountain in there, you can seal it. And it'll turn back into the computer lab, right? So what's it gonna be, Chris? Uh... I think this, uh... We can use the computer at my house. We don't have a computer at my house. Oh, wait, yes we do, in Asriel's room. Susie, I really don't think this is a good idea. I mean, obviously we're gonna go in there, but... We can use the computer at my house. Chris, you're right. Like, you said a correct fact. But you made a mistake. The mistake of knowing me. Because when I see a big pit, all I want to do is jump in. And as long as you're with me, I'm dragging you in too. Come on, Chris. Yeah, I figured that would have happened. We really should have started our project, though. Like, for real. Th there's no way the fountain could destroy the world in, like, one day. Whoa. It's a cybernetic world. This is new. Hmm. Very, very interesting. So, whatever's causing these dark worlds, the worlds seem to take on the form of whatever space they manifest in. Interesting. There's even a gigantic plug right there. Hey, what about my inventory? Uh, <laughs> rules jumped out of your pocket! How, uh, dad crobatic? How dad crobatic? Lesser. Get out of my inventory, damn you! Alright, what about, uh, what noise plays? Huh. Gaster's noise plays in this world, too. So, I have a feeling Gaster's connected to both these worlds. Wait a minute. Is this a similar layout to... The previous one? The wires! The wires! Um... Alright. Guess the machines were a little... Oh... Okay, then. Hey, how'd you get here? 
Everyone was... Huh? Oh, there's more than... More than one. Everyone else has been... Were they killed? Save us. She's going to... Huh? Somebody help me. Noelle! Somebody, please. Uh, Susie? Cool that you're here. Just... Wait, get out of here before it's too late! What in God's name? Noelle! The queen? Is that the... C could that have been... Lancer's mom? Huh. Hell of a study session. Who the hell are you? I am known as serial number Q5U4EX7YY2E9N. What you foolish children may call me... Queen. <laughs> like we're gonna call you Queen. Q five U three seven uh Queen Well look, Queen, we're not children. Teens are merely big children, and adults are even bigger children. Doesn't that make you a child too then? No, I am a computer. Smart. Ah. Okay. You're not Lancer's mom. Computer? Well, thank you for the stimuli, but I must leave now. Goodbye! Wait! Wait! Why'd you capture Noelle? Oh, she actually came back. I would have captured you too, but I ran out of cages. Why the capturing? So that may she be so that she may become my willing peon. In my quest for world domination. Also, maybe I will make her face into a robot one. What? Why? Seems cool. Well, forget it, dude. Nobody's turning anyone's face into a robot. Could that be a statement of animus, uh, decession? Dissension. Huh? You want to fight, loser? Yes! Yes already, yes! Oh, then bye. Wait! A goddamn second! I have no time for such frivolous... Or, I have no time for such frivolosities. And would, and would kick your ass. But perhaps someone else could entertain you. Uh-oh. What in the... Enjoy your assimilation. Oh, hell. Well, they're both tired, but we don't have Ralse here. Uh, toss Chris to free wire. Okay. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, I actually got him! The wires were greatly loosened. Okay. Oh, God. Okay. Nice. Maybe one more will do it. Oh, God, these guys are hard to dot. Son of a bitch. Oh, we can spare them now. Recruit one out of six. Two out of six. Okay. You won. Gained zero XP and 172 dark dollars. Phew. Nice fighting again after so long. It was only yesterday. Now let's go catch up to Queen. What the hell? More of them? Or not? What? Huh? They calmed down? Rouse! I just used my pacify spell to put them into sleep mode. Ralsei, you're here! 
I felt a dark presence and hurried over. It seems that there are new dark fountain. Uh, it seems that a new dark fountain has appeared. Rose, they got Noel. Damn, what was she thinking? Messing in our dark world. If we don't do something, she might be. Worry not, Susie. All we have to do is seal the fountain. Yeah, yeah. Can't be mad about another adventure, right? Come on, Chris. <laughs> nice. Let's go. All right. So is there a save point somewhere? Oh. All right. Oh, God! <laughs> Ooh! Well, all right then. A green field extends before you, and in the distance, a city shines brightly. You are filled with the power of a new adventure. <laughs> well, all right then. So far, this is gearing up to be quite the interesting chapter. I'm looking forward to playing more. Well, guys, uh, if you enjoyed this episode, please be sure to leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.